Today I want to show you how to make a set of Fibonacci gauge or golden ratio gauge or golden mean gauge. It's based on the golden mean or the golden section and these can be a handy wood turning accessory because they allow you to easily lay out some dimensions that historically people have considered uh, pleasing for uh, any number of designs. Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. I'm Mike Peace, I'm passionate about wood turning and I'm here to share with you tips, tricks, techniques to help you become a better wood turner. If that's something you're interested in, click on the uh, subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You know, all of us wood turners can learn to use the tools like the spindle gouge and the skew, well maybe not the skew, uh, to, to make, make beautiful objects, but some of us, uh, including myself, uh, feel like we don't have the artistic ability we'd like to have. And man throughout the centuries has looked for mathematical formulas to help him come up with designs pleasing to the eye. And one of these is the golden mean, uh, the 1.618 ratio, uh, 1.618 to 1. Uh, and it's used for any number of, of things in, in nature as well as design. Just a couple of examples of that 1.618 to 1 is the 3x5 card and your driver's, driver's license and a credit card and the Parthenon. Let's talk Phi. Phi is approximately 1.618. Fibonacci was the 13th century Italian mathematician who introduced this concept to Europe. He also entered uh, the Fibonacci uh, series of numbers. He also introduced Arabic numerals to Europe, same Arabic numerals we use today. The Fibonacci sequence of numbers is a series of numbers that the previous two numbers added together will equal the third number in the sequence. For example, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, and so on into infinity. Representing this graphically, it would look like this. The higher up the sequence, the closer two Fibonacci numbers in the sequence divided by each other will approach the golden ratio of approximately 1, 1 to 1.618. So it's easy to make a set of calipers to measure this dimension. I frequently use this concept on boxes. Let me show you how. Uh, for example, let's say this is going to be the top of the lid. This is going to be where the, 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 the lid joins the body, body of the uh, box. Uh, I lay that ratio out right there, and then that, right, that shows me where the bottom of the box is going to be to give me that, one, that six, 0.618 ratio of the bottom uh, versus the, uh, the remaining difference to the top. And, and of course, when you do measure it, you do have to allow for, for the tenon. Now, of course, for boxes, other, there are other ratios that are equally pleasing. Generally, we tend to go with a 1 to 3 ratio, and that's approximately what this uh, Fibonacci, uh, what phi is. Now, you can easily make these. I'm not going to go into all the, the detail on cutting these out on a saw. You can make them with most any kind of wood, any size uh, strips. Uh, I'm not going to give you all the dimensions, but I'm going to put a link in the description that will give you a really good diagram that gives you the ratios. Now, uh, you can use any kinds of pins. I basically used a quarter inch, or a little less than a quarter inch actually, uh, uh, nut and bolts to uh, fasten these together, uh, all of them. Uh, I used a piece of laminate and a, a pop rivet gun. Uh, to make this set very lightweight, nothing really fancy. They're kind of, you know, they're they're flexible, so they're they're easy to make any number of ways. This golden ratio gauge is also used by tattoo and makeup artists for eyebrows, so you can actually buy a set if you don't want to make them. I got this set from Amazon for less than six dollars, including shipping. And I believe it's a stainless steel and it's got a little ruler uh, on the on the side. Here's another example of how some folks might use it. They might take the ratio of the diameter of the bowl to, to the size of the, of the foot. Now, I've got to tell you, not everybody universally agrees with these concepts. Uh, Mike Darlow in his book, uh, Wood Turning Design, certainly uh, uh, discredits, in his view, the golden ratio. Uh, Richard Raffin uh, says it might work for some things, and I think maybe not so much 
others. But it's something that can help. And even if you're just using the 1 to 3 ratio, it gives you an easy tool to, to approximate that 1 to 3 ratio. If you're a visitor and not a subscriber and you made it this far in the video, then consider uh, uh, giving a thumbs up on this video and, and maybe even subscribing. I'd like to know in the comments if any of y'all use the golden ratio for, for any of your wood turning designs and if so, how? Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.